to hold on to those, but don't wrap them around yourself, okay? Don't wrap it around your hand. Don't wrap it around your hand. <coughs> you can hold on to them, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. You're a lovely couple. You too. Thank you. And so like I you. mentioned, you guys hit it just right. This is by far our best morning of the year. Oh, Yay. so glad. We started our raft trips around May 5th this year, and we've been dealing with some weather. Now, uh, Snake River, a river right through, through it. This is a lot more of where we should be. Right? Wow. I know, I want to get 80s, lower 90s. The cool thing is, this is high plains desert, so even when you get up to 90 during the day, it looks like the season was even that we're moving. Oh, yeah. yeah. And lack of humidity. We have very little humidity here. I can tell. I can tell. Thank so, God. <coughs> Perfect, right? Opposite yeah. end of that, you know, it dries you out. So a lot of ocean, you have to drink a lot of water. And, I you know, sunscreen that. out here, we're at 6,400 feet, so this sun can really get me out here if you don't. Know. We're about 6,400 feet where we are right here. Yeah. We're up there. Now, guys, a little bit about um, this trip we're going to be on. Um, there's a magazine that's not in publication anymore, but there used to be a magazine called Outside Magazine. And back in 1992, the publishers of Outside Magazine spent all summer floating down scenic sections of water throughout the United States. And after spending all summer doing it, that rank, they ranked the top 25 scenic sections of river in the United States. And after floating this river, they did give this the number one ranking. Wow. wow. Congratulations. So what I want you to do is get the cameras ready, because up here around this first big corner, now we haven't seen this view for about... Oh, at least a week here. They've been the mountains have been socked in. But if you look way behind this, now when I, I when I discuss river left and river right today, guys, it's going to be my left and my right, or else I'll get right. Yeah, I'll get off. Okay. But river left, way up here at the top of this bank, there's a there's a wall up there. Kind of hard to see this morning, but that's called the Snake River Overlook. That's where the highway is. Okay. Back in the 40s. Uh, a very famous picture was taken from that point by a man pretty well known for black and white photography. Anybody know? Oh, Ansel Adams. You got it. Oh yeah. He took his famous picture of the Tetons with the Snake oh. River bend in the foreground. Whoa. So coming up here around this corner, I'm just going to zip my <clears> mouth <throat> up and let this develop for you. And what we'll do, we'll get around the corner and I'll slowly let the boat spin a little bit so we'll all get a, we'll all get a picture. And guys, if you don't get the, the perfect picture right here, don't worry, the Tetons on our trip today, it just goes on and on and on. I just have lots of beautiful opportunity. And this should be amazing with all the new snow. Oh my oh, god. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh.